Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 15th of January 1919, Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht were killed by members of the Freikorps. The two German socialists were joint founders of the Spartacist League and the Communist Party of Germany, and were captured following the Spartacist uprising that had begun on the 4th of January. Luxembourg and Liebknecht were members of the Social Democratic Party of Germany when Germany declared war in 1914. Frustrated by the wider SPD's support for Germany's declaration of war, they and other leftists created a separate organisation known as the Spartacusbund or the Spartacus League. Named after the leader of the Roman Republic's largest slave rebellion, the Spartacus or Spartacist League actively opposed the ongoing war. In 1916, both Luxembourg and Liebknecht were found guilty of high treason and were then imprisoned after they organised an anti-war demonstration. The pair were released in 1918 and in December they agreed to rename the Spartacist League the Communist Party of Germany. By this point, following the abdication of Kaiser Wilhelm II, Germany was experiencing a post-war revolution. Friedrich Ebert, the centrist member of the SPD, had assumed the position of Chancellor, but he struggled to maintain control of the country. His government had therefore begun to side with the Conservatives, while the left sought the establishment of a government based on workers' councils. On the 5th of January, tens of thousands of people swarmed into the Berlin streets and began to occupy government and press offices. Two days later, around half a million people began a general strike. By this point, however, Ebert had hired Freikorps to crush the revolt. They did so quickly and violently. On the 15th of January, Luxembourg and Liebknecht were arrested, tortured, interrogated and then executed. <laughs>